Hi everyone, my name is Kyle and today I'll be helping you get started with uDialog. For today's tutorial, we'll be creating a few example dialogues. To start with, we'll create a dialog directly in the editor and from there I'll show you how you can create dialogues using c -sharp code at runtime. This is a new project I've just created with uDialog downloaded and imported from the asset store. You can add a new dialog in the editor by right-clicking in the hierarchy and using the menu. Select UI, U Dialog, U Dialog Dialog. And U Dialog has now been added to the scene. Uh, as you can see, we've also ended up with a canvas and an event system, as our scene didn't already contain them, and U Dialog needs them in order to function correctly. Let's customize the appearance of our U Dialog. We open the U Dialog game object, find the U Dialog component, and expand the theme section. I'm going to set the theme image set to sci fi and the color scheme to green glow. We'll leave the rest of the options as they are for now, but you can change them as you like. Now let's adjust the dimensions of our U dialog. I'm going to increase the width a little bit and I'll leave the height as it is. Um, from here, let's customize the title. We'll change the title to confirm and I'm going to hide the close button there because we don't want a close button in this dialog. I'm now going to set the text of this dialog to are you sure you wish to continue and I'm going to set the icon to question. Now our dialog needs some buttons so also in the content section you'll see we have a buttons section. I'm going to say yes show the buttons which means we'll now have a little bit of space for our buttons and I'm going to set our button collection to have two elements. There, we now have two buttons in the dialog, and we can set the text for them. You'll see I just set them to interactable. Uh, if that is not set, then they won't be clickable, so you can enable or disable buttons as you choose. We'll set the first button's text to yes, we are sure we wish to continue, and we'll set the second button's text to cancel, we don't want to continue. Now that we have our buttons, we need some methods for them to call. So to start with, we'll need to add an example controller to our scene. This could be any object you wish. Uh, in this case, this is just going to be a class which contains some public methods for our buttons to call. So I'm going to create an empty game object. I'm going to call it example controller, and I'm going to add a new script to it. So we'll say new script. We'll say the name is example controller, and the language is C sharp. There we go. The script has been added, and let's open it in Visual Studio. Okay, here's our example controller script, uh, which is basically the default uh, provided by Unity. I'm going to get rid of the update method. In fact, I'm going to get rid of the start method as well. We don't need either of those. Okay, from here we need to be able to reference uDialog code. So we need to import the uDialog namespace. So we say using ui.dialogs, and there we go. We can now access uDialog code. So the first thing we want to do is add a public method which we will be able to call by our uDialog. So we'll go public void step two, and this is the method which will be called when our yes button is clicked. We don't need a method for when the cancel button is clicked. However, you could add one if you wished. Okay, let's go back to the uh, editor. Let's find our new dialog button. Here's our yes button over here. We have a list of on click events. We're going to add a new one. We're going to drag the example controller there to the object selection there, and from here we can find a function that we wish to call. So we'll say example controller, and we'll find step two. There we go. Step two will now be called when our example control, sorry, when the yes button is clicked. We don't need a method for when cancel is clicked because we're just going to stop there. Um, you'll notice that if you click either of these buttons, the dialog will close automatically. That is because of this property over here, close when any button clicked. If that is cleared, then clicking a button will not automatically close the dialog, but if it is uh, set, then any button will close the dialog after its event handler has been fired. So uh, from here, what we should do is add some code to our step two method. Our step two method, which is called when our yes button is clicked, is going to show a second dialog. However, this time we'll create the dialog just using code. Start by calling uDialog.newDialog, which creates an instance of a new dialog. And uh, from here we can call various methods to customize the appearance and functionality of this new dialog. 
So the first thing I'd like to do is set the appearance as before. So we'll set the dimensions to, let's use the same as before. Next, let's set the theme image set to sci-fi and let's set the color scheme. Because you can create your own color schemes, the color scheme name is going to be a string. Uh, I'm going to select blue glow for this dialog so that we can differentiate it from our original dialog. We can also add buttons. So in this case, let's add a yes button, uh, which does nothing to start with. So we'll add an empty event handler for now. We'll add details to that in a bit. And let's add a second button, uh, which says cancel again. And also this one will have an empty event handler because it's not going to do anything other than close the dialog. All right, and that's all that's necessary to create a fairly simple dialog. Let's go and test it out. We'll click play in the editor. Our first dialogue is now shown. Let's click yes. And here we go. Our second dialogue is now shown. We still need to customize it a little bit further, uh, but the basic functionality is already in place. Now that our appearance and buttons have been added to the dialogue, let's set up the title and content text. So what we'll do is we'll say set title text to confirm and set show title close button to false and set content text to are you sure you're sure you wish to continue. Let's also set an icon And there you have it. Now let's take a look at how event handling works when we're using code. The first thing I'll do is change our dialog so that it doesn't automatically close when you click any button. We'll say dot set close when any button clicked and we're going to say false. The reason we're doing that is so that we can manually close our dialog in our cancel buttons functionality. What we're going to do here is we're going to add the dialog as a variable here. You have several options available when it comes to adding event handlers. You could also add the button there as well, in which case you'd be allowed to access the buttons variables. But for now, we'll just work with the dialog itself. And what we're going to call here is we're going to say dialog.close. Simple as that. Let's go test it out. Now, when we click the yes button, the dialog should not close, but when we click the cancel button, it should. All right, here goes, we click yes, nothing happened. We click cancel, the dialog closes. Now let's add some event handling for our yes button. We want it to call our method called step three. There's our step three method and let's call it. We also want our dialog to close after clicking step three. So let's add the dialog as an argument again. We'll pass it as an argument to step three. And the first thing we'll do in step three is we'll close the dialog. Now, none of this is strictly necessary for closing the dialog. We could just have said set close when any button clicked to true, but this is just giving you an example of how you can control how and when the dialog closes. So in step three, Let's show another U dialog. In this case, I'm not going to do any particular customization of this dialog. We'll just leave it as the default. And there you have it. In this tutorial, we've covered adding a U dialog as a prefab using the menu in code and how event handling works. And that concludes our tutorial for today. Thanks for watching. I hope it's been useful to you. Uh, we'll have some more tutorials for you soon. We'll be covering UDialog notifications, wrapping content, and using the UDialog taskbar in our next UDialog tutorial. You can purchase UDialog off the Unity Asset Store. The link is in the description below. Thank you.